Michelle was about, is it's just trying to foster people to think of like solutions for the global environmental and like sustainability issues. Quickly at a glance, um, they take almost any idea that you can consider green, fosters a lot of variety and it's just whatever it happens to be. Um, it's for instance, grad or undergrad, uh, etc. And there are, as I mentioned before, there's three fifteen thousand dollar prizes that go so if you get to be one of the finalists, you get a really good opportunity. And it's put on by the Center of Sustainability and the Global Environment. Uh, kind of pretty much what it sounds like, a research center that covers lots of different sustainability and environmental issues. The prizes themselves come from the Global Sewer Society, which is founded by a guy named John Cooper. And the society is essentially a group of people that are just environmentally Strictly climate issues and 15,000, one 15,000 dollar prize. So this past year, uh, it was GSSP. The resources that they provide um, is pretty much cross posting of other resources from other campus, including the Grill Business Plan Competition. They also have a Google Moderator, which is, a, I guess, it's a site you can go to and just kind of like shoot around. Also have Chris Meyer, which was just mentioned. He uh, he kind of runs the show for the, uh, the GSSP, and he hosts office hours for helping writing like the, the plans and the competition. So to get on their list of uh, resources, you just go to their website, gssp.safe.edu, and you enter your email right there. And the two main people involved are Carol Barford, who oversees the essentially Chris's boss, and then Chris, who apparently, um, he does more of like the work with students and the competitors. Uh, as just mentioned, he also is the founder of Section 67. He's a past competitor in the Climate Leadership Challenge, as well as um, a former partner of Chris Beck. So, a uh, couple examples of past winners. Small-scale electrical grids to uh, to make um, industrialization or modernization of uh, rural areas more more viable. Um, <coughs> sea machine, yeah, the the sea machine. Um, those winners, they essentially found a way to make a very cheap and recyclable alternative to Thomas motors. And if you don't know, motors are expensive. started, uh, Chris basically told us that getting your idea and putting your team together is the biggest step and the hardest step. Um, after that, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you write your project statement, which is essentially a business plan. Chris will help you as much as he can with that. Um, most of the plans end up being about 20 pages plus any other material that you need. You submit your plan to the email address there. Uh, and if you need more details, you can find anything on the website. The competition itself, as mentioned before, eight finalists who all receive uh, $2,000 for their presentation or prototyping. Um, it's done basically like a trade show, so it's kind of like a high school science fair. Everybody has their display set up, and it's open to the judges and the public. Um, the identity of the judges isn't known to the competitors, so they could be presenting to a judge at any time, and the three winners are chosen from there. Judging criteria is on the website. Um, class topics, uh, it involves writing a business plan, um, it encourages you